every single defensive building interaction with bombers, including this one in today's episode. Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Thank you guys for stopping by. Today we're talking about the bomber, familiar in looks, but very different than the home village's wall breaker. Right away, we're going to upgrade this bomber all the way to level eight. Our defending village will be a maxed out builder hall four, which is where we'll be showing the interactions. And notice right away, as the bomber went to level two, he picked up an ability big bomb. And then to level three is where he picks up additional damage per second and hit points and that is going to continue to be the pattern as we upgrade the bomber not every level is going to give him additional hit points and damage this is a critical one right here level four is a big one you get an additional bomber per camp so if you're bringing four camps of bombers you are going to end up with 12 instead of eight that is a huge additional output and damage and that is a big critical number to get to level four with the bomber level five again you're going to see that damage per second and hit point increase so again lots of changes on the builder's village not just simple upgrades giving what you would expect to be damage per second and hit points units are picking up special abilities as their levels are being upgraded here the big bomb which was dealing 200 percent damage at level six will now deal 250 percent damage so let's go ahead and fast forward through the final upgrades as we get that bomber up to level eight and again big bomb ability being improved as well as damage and hit points so as he gets maxed out here at level eight we are going to start to show these interactions again going to our altar and starting out with a standard cannon now you can imagine that this is going to be pretty much as expected the bomber does have some good range but he does not possess the ability to outrange any of these standard ranged defenses the double cannon he gets close but even faster work the double cannon wiping out our bomber friend we go to both versions of the archer tower and we're going to see similar results the bomber looks like maybe he's going to get a shot off but it just doesn't happen the archer tower set to slow as well as the archer tower set to fast are both going to annihilate the bomber before he can get a single bomb airborne next up we've got yes the tesla the hidden tesla and the bomber again not having great luck with the hidden tesla this guy doesn't even see it he's just going to wander on by and the tesla takes him down you will need multiple bombers to take out a tesla but it only takes one to take out the crusher now those of you who saw the crusher video saw this interaction already or at least a similar one in that the bomber his first ability that big bomb going off right away and then the rest of these grinding down that crusher from a distance no fear for the skeleton even though that appears to be a brother or sister underneath the uh, crusher's weapon right there it is all over for the crusher the bomber has taken the crusher out of here and moved on to its next target so let's move on to the next target of the bomber and that will be air bombs this pretty much as expected anything obviously that is going to target air units only is not going to affect the bomber so the bomber taking out the air bombs without an issue and we will see a similar interaction against the firecrackers just a friendly tip remember you guys firecrackers look like air defenses but they're not nearly as strong against air units as those air bombs are all right next up we're going to see interactions with mines this is a single mine the bomber at the same level as the mine will always have the hit points to survive a single mine but against two mines the mines get the advantage and the bomber goes down and then of course don't forget the mega mine not such a good thing for the bomber to trip over bomber down and you might have been waiting for this one four camps of unsuspecting bombers and an outcome that you could probably predict not a good one for the bombers not a lot of splash damage in the village but that is one example all right next up one of the most critical differences between the bomber and the wall breaker right here yes its favorite target is walls and he does 15 times damage to walls but that doesn't mean that he will go after walls first 
The bomber will always target the nearest structure or walls, so if there's a structure closer than walls, unlike the wall breaker from the home village, the bomber will go after that structure first and then go after the walls. Now, as we watch this destruction take place, notice the bomber right here as it takes out this next section of walls is going to go after the gem mine next. Right there. The gem mine and then continues on with the destruction of the walls. Again, times 15 damage, so it's going to get through those walls, even higher level walls, very quickly. But don't be misled, the bomber will attack whatever is closest, structures, walls, or enemy troops. We'll get a good idea of that last one right here as the bomber faces a guard post. Now notice it goes after the walls first. That was because it had already targeted the walls, so that bomber didn't fare so well, but check out this guy. He's going right after the Barbarian and right on the Barb's head. One bomb, more than enough damage to take out any defending troop. The bomber then moves on to finish off the guard post. All right, next up, let's take a look at a couple of real life examples of bombers in action. Check this out. My brand new bombers, Builder Hall 4 account, and yes, level six barbs and archers, level four giants, and just level one bombers. Only two of them in that camp, but you'll notice they do a pretty good job of opening these walls, letting the giants in so they don't have to stand there and just bang away anymore. Working out really well, rushing a few barbs in there in behind. Now the giants don't last as long as I would like them to on this base. The barbarians unfortunately deployed there early. Ideally, if I had waited for the bomber and the archers to take down those two storages on the outside, a deployment of the rest of those barbs would have definitely taken down the builder hall. Instead, I end up getting stuck just short of the second star as the last archers and the bomber go down and we're stuck at a 64% one star. And then that tense few seconds you have to wait when you finish an attack before your opponent never feels good, but luckily here we can fast forward the time and we do pick up the win. So 65,000 and 65,000 in the loot bonus. Let's move on and take a look at one more replay. Again, using just level one bombers. And here I was hoping to get the walls open so that the giants will go after the firecrackers and that single cannon rather than the crusher because you can see the crusher is going to be the first target after that exposed cannon gets taken down. So the giants go down and yes, they're of course pathing after that cannon. Here come the Barbarians trying to help funnel. The Bomber's just going to be too late. As you can see, they finally do get the wall open, but the Giants have already rounded the corner. They're out after the cannon. The Barbarians, though, doing a great job rushing in. They are going to get that Builder's Hall out of the way. The Crusher just about annihilating everything else until we get some ranged units on that Crusher. There we go, just a couple of archers, more than enough to do the job. And you'll notice the only thing standing between me and a three star right here was the double cannon on the outside. Didn't really see that until it was way too late. Now the rest of these units are going to close in. The double cannon with relatively short range is finally going to get into action on that last bomber, but not before the bomber gets me all the way up to 95% damage. Again, the bomber going after whatever is closest and that was my last unit. So 95%, good for another two star and a win at a brand new Builder Hall level four. So things working out okay, just starting to integrate the bomber into my attack strategies. Now that's gonna wrap up the bomber episode, but you guys are leaving some great comments right here. Royal Clasher says he had an idea about the crusher. He drops one barb, lets the crusher crush it, and then he rushes five or six after it as it is reloading. That is an awesome idea. Excellent to take advantage of the big gap between crushes of the crusher. Next up, Santisaurus says he puts the crusher on the edge, surrounds it with air bombs and push traps for archers. So the archers step onto those push traps and then end up getting crushed by the crusher. Love those troll bases. If you guys have a troll base, please do send it to me. I would love to put it in a future video. And then last but not least, most popular comment recently, Joseph Watts says, we need the Crusher in Clash Royale to counter elite barbarians. All right, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get the earliest possible 
update and sneak peek information. You guys are the true Gala fam. I appreciate every last one of you, and I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. I'm on my way to winning Clash of Plans again. No one can defeat my face.